Anthony Rodriguez, and this is Coco. We are junior sciences at the BioBooks, and today we're going to show you how to make water filters from basic things you can find at home or outside. Let's go! Hello, my name is Cece, and this is my partner Luann. Say hi, Luann. Today, she will be showing you how to build a homemade water filtration system. Here is what you will need. Two plastic bottles, make sure they're empty. Scissors, two hair ties, two clear cups, two cloth slash cotton, and water. For the outside objects, you will need rock, sand, wood chips, dirt, or anything you can find outside. Remember to not pick up any living organisms. For the procedure, you will need to follow these easy steps. Number one, if you can, put on gloves and go outside. Now you are ready to start collecting. Step number two, after you have collected objects such as fine sand, coarse sand, small pebbles, medium-sized rocks, or anything else, take a plastic bottle and cut the bottom off with parent supervision. Take the cloth that you will be using and place it at the very bottom, then secure it by tying a hair tie or rubber band around the mouthpiece of the bottle where you drink. Take your cotton and place it inside the bottle. Now you are ready to start layering different materials. Layer the different collected objects any way you want, leading to at least four different layers. Take the dirt collected from outside and mix it with water to make the dirt water you will be trying to filter out. Get a clear glass or plastic cup and hold the filter directly above. Make sure you don't spill. Begin to slowly pour the dirty water into the homemade filter. Let the filter drip into the cup. Once you are certain there is no more water left in the filter, examine the water in the cup. You may choose to run the water through the filter again and see if the water gets clear. Repeat these steps several times by thinking of different ways that you can layer the differently sized minerals in the filter to get the cleanest water. Make sure to observe and record the data collected in the table. Enjoy! Filtration happens due to the porosity and permeability of the rocks and minerals within the filtration system. The porosity and permeability of a specific mineral group helps to determine the effectiveness of the filter as well as the speed at which the filter works. Water pollution most definitely has its long-term effects on the planet, like damaging wildlife and ecosystems. It is important to understand how to protect and preserve our water. Some things that could be done to help our planet are to recycle, use reusable water bottles, and stop using plastic. This then leads to the change that we need in order to advance as a society. Welcome back! We hope you enjoyed making water filters with Luann and Cece. Make sure you take your pictures and your videos and submit them down below. Thank you so much for joining us today in our video. Bye-bye!